Hello, my name is uh, Matt Terry, head football coach here at Scott High School. And on Sunday, we had our banquet. And it was killing me because I knew it wasn't the last time I was going to be able to talk about Max Brown. Um, what an award, what an accomplishment. Um, and it couldn't have gone to a better individual. Uh, you know, obviously, we heard a lot about Max's statistics. And, and uh, Joel Beck from Gatorade called me after our semifinal game on Monday. And, and uh, the first thing I said is, we want some stats for how he's going to win National Player of the Year. And he laughed. And I said, Max was just 29 of 32 for over 350 yards and four or five touchdowns. And he just was speechless. You know, those kind of statistics are unbelievable that he was able to put up this year, not only for a career, uh, but if you have a statistic for leadership, he would win this award too because I've never been around a greater leader and on our football team, but more importantly, um, in the classroom, teachers were talking, I've been talking all week about this being his last day in Skyland, how weird it's going to be. But, um, you know, I can't think of, if you look at the names on here, it's unbelievable. You know, Lord, we're going to watch a young man that's going to have a fantastic career at USC, and then we'll follow the legacy of a lot of these players and continue to keep playing at that next level in the NFL. So, Max, congratulations. It's been quite a ride. I've known you since you were five years old. Um, it's been unbelievable, and um, congratulations. Thank you for being here. ago, this young quarterback was named All-District, All-Region, and All-State in the Collegiate Prep in Richmond, Virginia. He went on to play three seasons at NC State, where he broke the all-time NCAA record, 325 consecutive pass attempts without an interception before playing his senior season at the University of Wisconsin, where he led the team to the inaugural Big Ten Championship and eventual Rose Bowl berth. Just this year, he was selected third overall by your Seattle Seahawks, only to be named the team's starting quarterback a very short time later. In his rookie season, he's already been named the Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Week and NFC Offensive Player of the Week. And this is only his first season. And he ruined my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on and on, but let me give a big hand and warm welcome, please, to your quarterback, Russell Wilson. Thank you, Nancy, um, for allowing me to come here and, and introduce you know, Max as the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Uh, thank you, friends and family, uh, for allowing me and the school, Skyline High School, for allowing me to come in and just uh, talk and introduce us to the award. You know, first of all, you know, I just want to say you know, congratulations to your parents, Max, and your parents have done a, a tremendous job with you. you know, I met Max uh, you know, at, at some other camp that I had you know, earlier this summer in. And he was a tremendous person, but like like coach, like his coach said, you know his leadership and poise, and his determination to be great was what you know helped him win this award. And so, you know, I just wanted to you know give a round of applause for that. You know, Max, this is a very uh, prestigious award. As you heard some of the names listed off, you know, as we talked about earlier. You know, some of these names, Peyton Manning, you know, Dwight Howard, Derek Jeter, these are some of the best athletes to ever play the game. And you're in a very uh, you know, prestigious naming, uh, labeling, you know, uh, category. And Gatorade has done a tremendous job of selecting you. You're very deserving of it from all the things you've done, you know, in terms of athletically, but also you know, academically. You know, having a 3.5 GPA is remarkable to be able to do that throughout your high school career. And, and you know, I pray that you continue to do that throughout college as well. And then, you know what you do in the community, and you you you, you know, spark a, a smile on so many people's faces that you don't even know, and it's really tremendous. And um, I, I pray that you continue to do that. You know, th to win this award, you know, it means a lot. You know, Gatorade looks all over the country for the best athletes, the best football players. You know, all over the country. And as you heard some of the names that that they looked off and named off from the past, it's really an amazing award. And, and um, there's so many athletes, but to be the best one. And to be the best one that's going to carry, you know, you throughout college and 
you're going to have to continue that work ethic. And I know you will, you know, just from the few minutes that I've known you and the few days that I've met you. And so I think the biggest thing about this is, um, you know, Max, I, I just pray that you continue to do what you're doing. You know, you really are a tremendous person. You know, that's the main thing. And, and no matter how far this takes you, no matter how far you want to take it, you know, and this is advice to everybody else in here who's an athlete, who's not an athlete. You know, what do you want your legacy to be? You know, you already have a tremendous legacy with Gatorade and, and them naming you the Gatorade National Player of the Year. But, um, you know, what do you guys want your, your legacy to be? Whether if it's being a doctor, whether if it's being an all-time, you know, quarterback here in, in the state of Washington and in the nation. Um, you know, if it's being an actress or whatever it is, you know, what do you want your legacy to be? And, and, and Max has already stated his legacy, and I hope you continue to do the same. I just want to give another round of applause to Max. Thank you. 